Welcome to D&D Journey of the 5th Edition. Join us in our campaign and shenanigans as we explore the subterranean labyrinths, plunder hordes of treasure, battle legendary monsters. This podcast will be following our gaming group and the adventures of these characters, as well as a few guests from time to time. Join us as we start a new campaign and our journey to experience the best, and maybe the worst, in the 5th edition of Dungeons & Dragons. Hi, this is Kelly, a.k.a. Trixie from Ragnarok and Roll, a sign to Ragnarok story, and Tilda Wimblewick from D&D Journey of the 5th Edition. First off, I would just like to say thank you to everyone for listening to our varied adventures, as well as for rating us on iTunes and RPGpodcast.com. If you haven't rated us yet, we would greatly appreciate it if you could. And if you're looking for more ways to support our efforts, we are now on Patreon, a great site where you can help us continue making more podcasts, as well as some special surprises for our patrons. If you can, please look us up at www.patreon.com slash cppn. Every little bit helps. And again, thank you for listening. I'm assuming that's what you're peeking it for, is to check it out? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Fourteen. Fourteen? You can tell right here there's a, uh, some kind of pit-ish trap. It's clear. And we now see how the evil crew can play. <laughs> oh, man! <laughs> But you have to go first. <laughs> it's not designed for me. I don't care. <laughs> uh, do you, do you as, go in? As you didn't hear, uh, he's nudging you with a staff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll go in and, and try and set it off so that it doesn't catch you. <laughs> so you purposely set it off? Yeah. Okay. So go ahead and give me a quick d20 roll. I failed to set it off. It's totally clear, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like jumping up. <laughs> I think she sets it off successfully. Eh, eh. Apparently, this trap was cobalt proof. <laughs> <laughs> they are stupid, and so. <laughs> they, you know, apparently, some cobalt traps can put a lot of work in this one so his idiot cousins would not get open. Because they're all cousins. <laughs> Rexla, it's totally fine. <laughs> Come on in. <laughs> <laughs> she started for real. No, I didn't. I can't start for real. That was so. Oh. I I walk over. I walk over to her. Raise my axe and bring it down on the floor right next to her feet. Okay, so here. Yeah, like right next to where she's standing. Okay, so yeah, here. Like, yeah, yeah. Okay, so the trap square is what I. Have. Yes. Okay, because she's only taking up a quarter of that square. Yep. Okay. You want me to roll for that? Yeah, go for it. 20. Hey, I never told you how much I like you. <laughs> <laughs> so, so go ahead and give me a deck save as he's coming down and cracking the floor <laughs> open. And immediately this jagged crack starts and it's just like... <laughs> and shatters like safety glass. Damn cobalt ceramic. They used too much cobalt poop to make it work good. <laughs> um, I didn't write my saving throws down. So it's going to be for you your proficiency plus your dex plus 10. Um, or actually, no, it's it's the, the, de- the proficiency plus your dex. Sorry. Okay. Blind you. That's Giving you this passive. fake inflated number. <laughs> That's the passive one? Mm-hmm. What is it? Well, okay. Pat, he's referencing passive perception. Passive perception. Oh, so okay. plus plus, okay. Yeah, just roll the description. <laughs> Immediately, you pull the ninja move and are on his axe. On the, 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 the shaft of his axe. You're riding his shaft. Oh so, so well. Oh my god. I like We're sort of maintaining the level since, since the horde at the beginning. <laughs> So you gotta have to throw it in there. It's D and D. The humor makes itself. <laughs> that as you, the floor just down. Yeah, I'm gonna just like somersault over at like off of the axe and behind him. Okay. <laughs> Looks clear. 
<laughs> totally clear. Totally clear. <laughs> We're good. I think they deserve quite a bit of inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. <laughs> yeah. If you're good with that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, because I don't have poker chips. <laughs> oh, that's great. What's inspiration? Well, inspiration is the best thing the 5th edition does is of the dragons. <laughs> inspiration is something you get when you play to your personality traits, your ideals, your blue bonds and flaws, which if your GM doesn't remember what they all are, you just do this on your page and look at me like you want to double down on your poker deck, and I, I'll give you inspiration because, you know, I trust you. And it means that any dice roll that you're rolling a d20, you can chip that in to get advantage, which lets you roll the better of the two. Nice. Because you're basically, you're in character, you're, you're in your, your, your mojo, you're flowing with the chi, you know, you're, you're one with the force. Or, if you're rolling at disadvantage, you throw the pin at me, hit me in the eye with it, and you only roll, straight roll, not disadvantage. Wow. Protection. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Always wear eye protection. Okay. <laughs> you in trouble. You gonna take a cow chop to the eye. Ouch. Okay, so that is probably a good t- time to take a break for the restroom. Cause I don't know about y'all, but I gotta use the restroom and I gotta draw a little more map, I think. Okay. So, there is, when you glance down this way, another opening to this room. All we this did was room, set off a trap. We, we haven't even looked around yet. Okay, well, we can look around then. Okay. <laughs> but Tim's probably gotta use Wait, the don't restroom. Wait, <laughs> I gotta go. Hey! <laughs> All of a sudden, a great yellow tide rises. Oh, wait. Did you hear that? that? I thought it was going to be That's the pirate game where the, the deep is coming up to drown everyone. His eyeballs are floating. Thank you. Good job on that, on that, on that 20. And that was an amazing time for Nick. It was like natural blood. Can't set off the track. Natural so blood. Funny. Magical somersaults. <laughs> little bleak, little bleak. Go get some coals. Arthur's at the house. Arthur's at the house. Yes. Where'd he go from? Let's go with Delphia. I was gonna say, and I moved away. <laughs> Pennsylvania. <laughs> it's a it's a place. last year. <laughs> well, maybe if you came over more often. Yeah. Good point. Well, I mean, your life has been a little bit on the hectic side. Yeah, that yeah. is. Like, a new lady in it, and is... the wife, and yeah, the children. It's also been super good. Bruna is really crazy. Yeah. Like she's 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 doing like she's doing better if she gets her if she takes her meds. Mm-hmm. I think I don't need to increase her dose though because but it's it's it sucks because by the time I get home her the medication is has worn off because it's an eight hour. So like she gets to concentrate during school and and then she just like loses it and, and just flies off the handle. This needs to be tighter. Like, now I'm only done with it. Either that or you just like rest it. Okay, so here's a food item. I describe it as a food item because I don't know how else to categorize it. Interesting. It's a pizza burger? Yeah. Pizza, bacon, double burger. The only problem is for me is like, 
I really want a cheeseburger. It, yeah. Um, not with pizza. <laughs> and also trying to freak you like, yeah. Whatever. Hey, love, do you happen to have a uh, like thirty cents or something? <gasps> no. Why you want something? What do you want? I do. I want a drink. You want a drink? I guess since I peed, I can get you a drink. What kind of drink? <laughs> the uh, Coke Zero. Which isn't as good as Diet Coke, but. Uh, yeah. Well, for for me, it's the opposite. I'm not. I I I I'm not I, I acclimated to Diet Coke flavor. <laughs> So Coke Zero is closer to regular Coke flavor. So it's like, is it? It's a, but no, like I know, I know someone um, that that's kind of thing. It's like, he would drink like sugar sodas. Then it's like, no, I gotta, I gotta switch to diets. Diets suck. But he got used. To, then, then he got used to, to drinking diet sodas. Now he can't drink sugar sodas because he doesn't like the taste of that anymore. I yeah, I haven't been able to drink sugar sodas for a long yeah. time. Thank you, my friend. You're welcome, my dear. I uh, I can't handle the, the like. Oh, the uh, sugar rush. <laughs> no, no, it's not the sugar rush. It's um, just the really horrible amounts of syrup. Oh, mm, yeah. Sure. Sure. It, it makes my teeth feel fuzzy. <laughs> and the fact that it's just pure corn syrup. Um, in that round, I, I can't. I can't do the cane sugar, Mountain Dew, or pe or Pepsi. Mm -hmm. It's like that's too sweet. It is. It's the three times the normal sugar. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do a Dutch braid in your hair. The last one I did was a five strand braid. All I knew is things were tangled up back there. In the safe way. Oh, what you what you doing back there? Oops, ow, Oops, sorry. Ow. Still holding on to that then. one strand of hair. Am I? <laughs> Yeah, so weird. There's like one Sorry. strand you're holding on to. I, I mean, I'm holding on to more than one strand, but I mean, normally your I have to pay for that kind of treatment. Well, it's been you down. never have to pay me to pull your hair. <laughs> pull your hair for free. <laughs> of course, we should probably ask your wife for permission. <laughs> or we should check what you think you want to pay with. <laughs> All caught on tape. <laughs> I don't. I don't take. Thank God, I ed I'm the one who edits. <laughs> <laughs> but why would you edit out such fun stuff? <laughs> Are you kidding? I would love to have someone else do the editing. <laughs> you are tangly. Well, that's because it's been down and free and on its own. There are so, <gasps> so many games that you haven't played. I know. Which ones are you talking about? Like a billion of them. Like everyone here. Yeah. No, that's not true. But like, okay. I'm, I'm really so they have the sixth gun, which uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a huge fan, of, fan? The, uh, of, of the uh, yeah the comic of the Weird West in general. Mm -hmm. uh, Hard West. It Hard West was probably one of my favorite games to play on the PC. Like you'd like through the breach, I think. It's a uh, Malfax. It's like oh. steampunk western. Ah yes. Where they go through the breach and you find out that there's hillbilly gremlins living in the uh, swamps. Nice. Oh, that's funny. That use exploding pigs because you know they found out their pigs eat like gunpowder <laughs> and when you shoot them afterwards, they explode. Oh, that sounds hilarious. I got a friend of ours for his birthday the starter set for the, the, the tabletop war game. And he's like, we gotta play this. And he's actually building terrain with it. It's like, here's a water tower. <laughs> How's the, have you played the uh, the RPG for Malfo? Yeah, yeah, through the breach. It's really weird when you make a character because you're randomly drawing your card suit to build the character's past, present, future, and destiny. Mm -hmm. And basically when you play, you have like six cards each Do layer of the deck. <laughs> and those are your, basically they're your bonus oh, yeah. hands. <laughs> Gotcha. So while you're playing, you're playing off a group breaker. deck that everyone's <laughs> playing for, for when you draw basically high I've card on, on horse like, fights and things. Then you have your, your six oh, wow. secret cards okay. for the session that you can no, then go and plus this. Nice. So you're doing like war of building up your dice roll. So when you want to do great, you can choose to do great. But usually it's either a you sprinkle a little greatness in the game or you drop a bomb at once. How did running City of Mist go? 
Pretty, pretty good. good. I mean, uh, basically been doing it online with Yogi and the David, and they're having fun. Yeah, it's it's like super here. simple. It's the yeah, like yeah, the yeah. Apocalypse, yeah so. it, it's it's basically the best parts of fate and the best parts of power by the you know, Yeah, there's the, the problem a, that they were having uh, coming up with was character concepts. There, there's a point which, in a man's life yeah, so, where they have to be careful. Yeah. About they give the you really broad categories. So like, there's like body armor ish. There's enchanting ish, and then basically you get a little bit of receding. Sides here. Peg yeah. down what it is. But, but I th- it wouldn't look like that Yogi right came up with like basically Electra from the movies and the comic books. Uh, the <laughs> <laughs> no, they're, 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 they're private detectives. And uh, David came up with yeah, a, 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 he basically is Doctor yes. Strange, <laughs> but with more of a martial <laughs> arts angle, like really in the movie, nice. than, than the, the, the comic book Doctor Strange. Yeah. And they basically yeah, found out that uh, uh, basically the embodiment of Aphrodite in town has created a, she's like the dating guru in the newspaper. Oh, and she created a phone app. Well, I was going to say, it sounds like she likes the long hair. dates <laughs> in a newspaper a with a scannable barcode that when you scan it, I'm the heart beats. <laughs> and you then get a countdown to the next heart that's going to be delivered. And they, of course, went to this guy who works at the point. steel mill, who happens to be her ex-husband, who happens to be a fastest. Fast and they, of course, the started some shit, and shit went bad, and then they managed to power the way through it. <laughs> so they now realize he's innocent because they got his phone the hard way by beating him unconscious and taking it from him. And he wonders why I, he wonders why I cut my hair so long. I, 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 uh, but I think the eight moves, the, the finding the, their character and the eight moves are what they're having issues with. Because like, usually when you, when you roll, it's like, okay, I roll the seven to nine. I Pick two bad things hair. that don't happen. And right. whatever's um, left is like, how the story progresses. I went through a really right. stressful yeah. part of my life when I was like Pick 15. Pick one thing on this list of three or four things, the, and I will tell you the absolute head. truth of the answer. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, or if I can't crazy. tell you the truth, like, if there's I will give you the solid clue really that connects to the next skills. chapter. Right. Which, that's the big one. Which, I, I definitely want to get an in-person <laughs> game going on because it is cool. Yeah. And I actually have the real book now. Yeah, and it's gorgeous Yeah, oh, God, it is. Uh, I want to do uh, a mashup between City of Mist and Don't the time, Rest Your Head. Because oh. I, because I, I really, <laughs> I really <laughs> love Don't Rest Your Head, I, uh, but I, I hate the fact that it's so really short for me. Which it's intended to be, I but I'm like, am at the gym. I was like, you can have so much fun about, with this. You can have meat to it. it yeah. You know? or, yeah. So, I, th- so I think I think City of Mist would be a good like a, a, a good like mixture Sometimes of that. Sometimes when I'm cooking. So yeah. I'm, I'm, <laughs> After I finish reading through yeah. the book, I'm... No, I have to put mine up. Though I still admit to how they use things. People are going to be fine. They make things really good. <laughs> <laughs> well, before, before I, I do anything with my hair Because my down, take on the I'm whole Russian first. I can all agree with you. Hey, this is the guy who's both God and the devil of... Yeah. It's attributed to us. It's the guy who rewards you for the good stuff. If you... He's not all bad. And... Mosquito got my knuckle glue. I would clean the bedroom and... I would like I'd see a hair and I'd pick it up and it would bring with it a mat of other hair we were just woven into each other. So I didn't know how that story started. Cleaning the floor, my wow. hair like weaves itself into rugs on the floor. Yeah, it's magic hair. <laughs> <laughs> then we could make flying rugs and be rich. That's what I do on spare time. That's good spare time. Yeah. <laughs> Ashley Hair Rugs. <laughs> you know, that, that sounds like a company name right there. It sounds like an old fashioned Tucson shop, <laughs> Ashley Hair Rugs. <laughs> then it would truly be Ashley on Furniture. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just take their uh, trucks and I won't have to do anything special. First, you get the rugs. <laughs> then you get the sofa. <laughs> then you get the recliner. <laughs> and now you have the power. <laughs> So much power. <laughs> so, here, this hair is already everywhere in the house. Like I found it in the sink. <laughs> this is surprising. Which sink? The kitchen sink. Uh, okay, yes, yeah, that doesn't surprise me. I did the dishes. I did some dishes. Okay. <laughs> I can do all of them. Uh, with your hair? Yes, of course. While you're there, you're just you for wash stuffing. it. It's really good. It's a really good texture. Stop into that. <laughs> Pumice stone. <laughs> you got that whole tangle thing going. I do. <laughs> My name's Rapunzel. <laughs> you just go brunette to hide it. It's true. Rapunzel, Rapunzel. Green scrub brush, my dishes. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> let down your hair and clean my dishes. <laughs> So, so as you, you basically <laughs> triggered the trap, you realize that there were some bodies in the trap, but they're like really old and picked through. And it's just basically desiccated corpses. Those are my favorite kind of corpses. So, so, so there's, there doesn't seem to be anything of value, like like your ninety nine point nine. What trap. what kind of trap is this? Is like spikes? Or uh, like actually, it's just a deadfall. Oh. You know, and then you know you can see from the corpses, you give it a look, see that someone came in and then beat them to death with slings. Or just private penny rocks. <laughs> <laughs> nice little shaped stones. Little caved in skulls. <laughs> That's such a cute description. Caved in skulls. Alright. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. I uh, I want to go around the room looking for more secret compartments. <laughs> you roll me these one. And it's time to sleep safe, please don't get a 20. Yay! <laughs> then uh, there seems to be nothing else of interest here. Damn it, I wasted a good roll. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to grab them. <laughs> <laughs> that was, I just and then the dice bag Which gets played with. did you grab? <laughs> she went for his <laughs> dice bag. Because <laughs> I needed to get a die. Palm right. first. I didn't even know. <laughs> Uh, At least it was palm first and not knuckle first. <laughs> it's yellow. You can't miss it. Apparently we can't. Was it a D6? Yeah. Because if so, that song bitch traveled. <laughs> I dropped it on his leg. And it just went, <laughs> down his leg. <laughs> Try to run she, away. Didn't, she didn't grab my leg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my. <laughs> He's a great weapon fighter. <laughs> <laughs> How do you hand. know? <laughs> <laughs> that, you told so. It's that two-handed group, you see. <laughs> so you basically explore the room while the, ten, the altar's finishing being desiccated, the meat's being poked on the fire pile. Where do you guys plan to go next? Uh, Did you feel a goblin? You could do another medicine. Back. It I has been long age. enough you could go and do a medicine to try to wake him up. And, <laughs> Yeah, we could actually find out. Oh, wait, no, he's probably one at the wall. We could find out where the tree is from him. Because you do remember the story that the goblins go to the local human town and sell the, the red apples. But there's nothing, there's no other door in this room? Uh, not in this room, nope. Okay, okay. But if you go out here, there's a hint of a door right around here. I say we go out there. Is there a place? I said we talk to the goblin. <coughs> well, that could be useful. I mean, he did save his life. Sure. Or at least yeah. slow down his death. You guys do that. I'm going to be sneaky and creep down the hallway. That's not me. Oh. I'm this one. <laughs> but I'm just going to like peek around the edge. Do I see anything? Yeah, I'm also going to go ahead and give me a sneak roll. Oh, okay. And the ranger, are you sneaking as well? I'm, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll sneak as well. Okay. Ooh. Uh, low. Can you, so, uh, can you not sneak with me? You're like sneaking, well, well, and then you hear a leather shoe crackling <laughs> on. But I'm, I'm, I'm only going. I'm mainly posting up there to sort of like keep keep watch to, to defend so, your rear. Yeah. Well, I don't know what the rest of you guys are doing. <laughs> All right, I guess I will heal Gobby Boy just to show you what you see. So, this here is that there, number 16. Okay. So you see the little quarter that's going on here and then the yeah, pillars. Yeah, there's a bugbear here and there's healing properties. Oh, where is it? This one. Is this the same orientation? Yeah. yeah actually, no. No. Is Perfect. it like this? And this is 16. I turned this and oh. turned that. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, I you like an right Oh, my thing. God. It's like a Rubik's Cube. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, you're, like, you're in the magical cube. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, I see. Here. Right. <laughs> Down here. Then I see. Gotcha. Oh. Cool. Um, awesome. Uh, <laughs> I look for what you see in the darkness. Okay. Um, Hey guys, there's more stuff over here. <laughs> <laughs> what? This is Are it? there more traps over there? <laughs> <laughs> I search for traps. <laughs> Give me a perception roll. Ten. <laughs> nope. <laughs> no. 
the coast is clear. <laughs> Someone else can go after this. Yeah. Did we want to question the goblin? So, I mean, I can give, give me a quick medicine roll. In a moment, Giggle Star is going to be running back. Ah! There's more stuff over there. And the there. giant There's rock is following her. There aren't me. any more traps! <laughs> I've triggered them all. <laughs> so, uh, medicine roll of 10 or better. That's all yeah, you need no. to get them. Okay. I, I, you didn't roll yet. I did. I did. You didn't roll yet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I'm 10 or better. You so. have advantage. There now you she's rolled, yeah. she means. <laughs> okay, so you come up and you slap him brutally. <laughs> and. Uh, where are the kobolds? Where are the kobolds? They're dead. There, 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 there. And he just goes, ah! And he just grabs towards his legs, but as soon as he touches the legs, he doubles up and scream and kind of like reaches his hands up towards not barbecued and flaking up. I yell back, uh, <coughs> he did have a gag if he gets a little annoying. Ooh. Yeah. My, his scream hurt my ears. <laughs> I guess I can do some healing word and make it at least not painful. Oh, okay. Oh, look at you using magic. I healing. know. Your dying party member's gonna remind you of that. I guy. know, a little fucker. <laughs> <laughs> As this guy shanks the survivors and takes all your loot. <laughs> the bugbear is leaning over him and says, You look so tasty. No! <laughs> If you, you just, just, just one leg. No, I if just you're gonna to heal it anyway. Your I just, I just had to tell him no. That Buzzbear Pist did not have healing properties. <laughs> <laughs> do, do we need to get a, a spray bottle? <laughs> no, no. We really have to drink the second gallon for it to start keeping. When nothing else, you can clean a wound with urine. Okay. That's a great bugbear rule. <laughs> In the land of the bugbear, the wash basin is really the toilet. Uh -huh. In case of emergency, <laughs> we need to get some scrolls and roll them out. <laughs> okay. It's instantaneous. Six points. Okay, so, so you, you cast in, your heel and at least he's not pain. And, and, oh, and, and he's going, eh, you just notice the, 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 the <laughs> horrible third degree burns that are yeah. flaking up immediately, like, like they kind of like brittly break off like ash, and there's 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 fresh, light greenish skin growing underneath. Oh, so now it's first degree. So it's, so it's, yeah, <laughs> so it's a nice painful. mild first now. degree sunburn. He's peeling. And, and he, he looks up at you and there's like tears of goblin joy looking at you. Yeah, well, <laughs> and it's in the... <clears throat> Thank you, great healing mother. Thank you, great healing mother. I'll put you back down there if you call me well, that again. Yeah. Well, well, he's saying in, in, in a reverence is a great healer. It's, it's a great honor. Oh, okay. Matrons are like huge in Goblin Society. Yeah. yeah. I'm not old enough to be a matron, but that's a problem. Well, no. <laughs> you're a girl goblin. And that's all his goblin eye sees you as and you heal him, which means you're great and you're powerful because anyone can wield the power of destruction. The power of life is rare amongst the goblin kind. I roll my eyes and say, he's all yours. <laughs> as he like stretches his don't break him again. Legs. Yeah, don't break him again. He he kinda what and he kinda like defensively looks around at all of you and, and he looks at the pile of the smoking cobalts and you just, <laughs> Now who gets burned? So yeah, uh, yeah. are you here to help us against the dragon, the great worm Wivrix? Why were you working with the kobolds? Look like I was working with kobolds. <laughs> There's kobolds and goblins in there. That's because the stupid you kobolds. You clearly gave your life to be eaten. <laughs> or at least your legs. <laughs> he well, kind of glares at you, dumb. but then he looks at your strong <laughs> arms and long weapon. And... My long weapon. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <coughs> Bye. These, these filthy bastards, these filthy reptiles captured me. I was going to get supplies. What tribe are you with? I am with. You know, he also kind of doubles up on the look of you guys. Now, uh, your your outward appearance. Are you guys showing the regalia of the ancient goblin empire? Do you have your individual clan stuff? I'm an outcast, so I'm wearing the, the regalia. Okay, so you got this cool goblin guard. 
I mean, I was, I was running with a pack, and, and now I've got some, some, some cool emblems, so I've, I've got the regalia as well. Okay. I'm wearing clothes. <laughs> You're wearing pimple children's clothes. <laughs> Leather. You know. I'm wearing scale mail, and then I've got, like, somewhere a holy symbol. Like holy symbol. Yeah. Loud and proud of, of the, 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 the leader of the pack. <laughs> the, the top guy. Yeah. Over a tavern with your ancient empire. Okay. Were we given something? You guys. Oh, oh, yeah. We got to clean them out on that. You guys basically, when your band was first starting to come together, you actually found a dungeon that had a ancient crypt of goblin stashed equipment. I totally okay. forgot about that. <laughs> it's because you're a city goblin. You know, yeah. You're <laughs> and it basically. You, the you rec- forgot your roots. You basically <laughs> found a rotted version of like, Sun Tzu's Art of War written by a hop goblin. <laughs> discussing the ancient goblin empire when you guys ruled the continent. It clearly shows teleportation spires that hobgoblins built. Okay. Which has probably got we your interest. We were awesome. And then, were. you know, we're. we're. But, yeah. At that time, <laughs> but we were getting really awesome again. Because you, you basically, right. there's different opinions of, of why the empire fell, but like a big one is not giving reverence to the right gods. Yep. Every other quiet for the squeak. <laughs> <laughs> and, or, you know, possibly elven interference, which maybe that's why goblins and ales have that racial hatred. Mm-hmm. Or they just don't know any better. Yeah. And uh, basically, you guys, you're seeking because, of course, the paladin yeah, of, of conquest. Yeah, elves don't know anything. Because right. it's nice being a paladin of conquest, who also is an archaeologist, is his background. Okay. So his obsession with rediscovering history is what's pushing the group to... That's why some of you guys are wearing the ancient goblin empire that nobody really knows about. But it's like, it looks like a fancy version of goblin script because, of course, this is the ancient goblin language. Okay. Well, so I would this... imagine that I have some sort of mantle then that would have been something like the a castle would have worn. Okay. And, uh, and I'm wearing that, but underneath I have, like, I don't necessarily uh-huh. have a specific <laughs> tribal. <laughs> <laughs> I'll remember that. <laughs> Um, so I was a tribal, uh, marauder actually, so in my background, so, okay. so um, you got civilizing and some book learning. Yeah. And so, you know, a lot of it being an outlander, I was, uh, I didn't necessarily attack unnecessarily. There was <laughs> worthiness involved in it, oh, but, uh, funny. so I don't have a specific tribe. <laughs> so, so as, as the camera does this montage, all of a sudden the goblins see I am from the Splintered Shield clan. We serve Lord Rygox! He gets all gobliny, cheery, you know. He is the strongest of all goblin warlords! And he kind of looks at you at the paladin and shirks back a little as he says this, the strongest of hobgoblins. Um, because, you know, obviously, culturally speaking, hobgoblins have to find out who, the pegging order who's in charge. This could be an issue. So Very curious. two powerful looking hobgoblins. My background feature being a wanderer, I have an excellent memory for maps and geography, and I can always recall the layout of terrain settlements and other features around you. In addition, you can, so I mean, I'm familiar with, which helped in marauding because I knew. You knew, you knew where to go, which seasons. Is to he full keep. of it? You believe exactly what he's saying. I mean, if you want to do an insight roll. Well, I mean, he, what he's saying is there is an actual tribe. There is an actual tribe okay. by that name, yeah. But then again, it's one of those hob. And he seems very believable to me. You, you, you are, you are, you are wanting to join this tribe. It's so oh, bad. Not that bad. <laughs> I, I just look at him and I go, whatever. <laughs> um, I want to go up to the goblin. He's, he's laying on the ground, right? Yeah, well, he's up on his. He, he got up on his feet and he's getting all excited talking about his clan. Right. So I just so, sort of like as I'm as I'm walking, <laughs> like I just let the the extract behind me that that, that <laughs> ominous <laughs> as, the, as, as the blade drags behind me. You mentioned a worm. Yeah, he does this little look up from the axe to the stone up to you into your face. He's like, "Oh, the, the, these kobolds! They 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 they're so proud! They stole a dragon egg and." One of their kind raised it until it ate him. And now this dragon leads their tribe. Where? Oh, I can show you. 
Would you like to slay the dragon? <laughs> oh, <what are> we... <laughs> little, little goblin creepy look of wink wink nudge nudge. <laughs> you know, I bet you. And he kind of like looks all shifty to all of you guys. Like he doesn't want to be overheard. And he looks at the kobold and kicks one of the corpses. If you slayed the dragon, you could probably become leader of the Broken Shields. You guys look pretty tough. <laughs> what happened to you? <laughs> you look a little overcooked. <laughs> That heat must have gotten to you, didn't it? Because well, they carried over on your tribe. Obviously, they didn't send any rescue We want all parties. the tribes. <laughs> we want... We'll lead all the tribes. There, nobody will ever get all the tribes to work together. Challenge accepted. <laughs> right? Then that is part of your thing, is you want to reunite the nation. Are you saying I'm full of shit? <laughs> Well, piss and vinegar. As I lean over sure. my hand, my claw comes like this. <laughs> <laughs> the pimp hand. He, he, he kind of like sure respected. Well, you might be. You just ate some cobalt, I think. <laughs> At least that's what your breath smells like. I'm not judging. I'm it's not goblin. judging. <laughs> and he just kind of uh, shivers. <laughs> I, 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 I will gladly lead you guys to their war, but uh, there, 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 there's going to be a lot of cobalt we have to get through to get to it. Yeah, that's been a problem so far. <laughs> and he kind of looks at the piles, starts counting left arms. And, There's uh, more of them, huh? Do you have a name? Oh, yeah, I'm called Vex. I'm very vexing. <laughs> it means I'm charming. I don't think that's what it means. <laughs> that's what they told me. They lied. What does it mean? Sounds good to me. Uh, no, I'll, I'll let you keep on believing your... Uh, Beliefs for now. <laughs> Is he like elbows your knee? She likes me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and as I get, you know, I'm like okay, okay, how can I kill him? The the most. <laughs> it's her skeletal hand takes the life back. <laughs> I heal and take. <laughs> we wake him up when we get to a crossroads. All right. And, and, and he kind of like, you know, breaks away from the little talking circle and goes to the fountain because he wants to drink some water. Because, of course, you know, being burned alive is kind of... Thirsty, thirsty work. Thirsty. <laughs> it's kind of mouth dry. <laughs> or it was the blood-curdling screams of the gag that was probably a cobalt's lung cord. Uh-huh. Oh. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so he's just like pawing himself water, you know. So, so what do you want to do? There is talk of apples. <laughs> you know about the magic apples. Yeah, it was come here, kill you, take apples. I don't have any magic apples. If I had a magic apple, would I, I mean, be here? I'd I, be eating it while I was burning. I mean, not like you specifically, oh. but like all of you. <laughs> Not so the you mean singular. the kobolds? <laughs> Not the singular. No. The <laughs> goblins. So I, we're all goblins. I'm one of you guys. No. <laughs> you are different than me. You are small <laughs> and insignificant. But I'm hey. hoping you guys. <laughs> you, were, you were dinner. But you saved me, so I'm invaluable to you guys. You, wink, wink, nuts, nuts. You may still be dinner. He's very peckish. But obviously you hire goblins as he's looking at you two. There's the silence for a second, you hear this rumbling. <laughs> Can we just relight the fire? Well, the fire's still going. It's, it's burning. Can we just put him back on the fire, then? No. I didn't heal Look. Uber and to be wasted. You help us. You can. No. We'll feed the bunkers. No. Not a waste. No. You can join us. I get or. No, no. We don't need to talk about an or. Joining you guys is exactly what I want. <coughs> you guys are strong and powerful and obviously capable. Our, our, our war chief just keeps getting fat off the, the gold he gets for the apples and the. That every time he tries to keep sending one of the white apples to the dragon, and then, you know, last when the kobolds eat it. Wait, you're giving apples to the dragon as well? No, no, only the white apples, the winter apples. 
the winter apples. Is that like road apples from a dragon? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. he's, he's big and he's funny. I like this big guy. No, no, you see, you see the way it works is uh, there, there was this caretaker. He, he kept the tree alive. Well, we don't talk to him anymore. He acts all weird now. But, but the tree has an apple once in the, the winter and once in the summer. In the summer, we get those red apples that we sell to the stupid humans. They pay like way over the top for a quarter slice of the apple. Okay. It's ridiculous. We don't have to go pillaging at all. We just go and they give us sprinkle cash on us. Kobolds or goblins? The, 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 the people. But didn't the co- well, kobolds were the one that sold it or the goblins? The mm-hmm. goblins. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. what we came here for. Yeah, the, the stupid kobolds used to share this place with us. But the problem is now that they've got their pet dragon working or... Okay. Not eating them, but eating us. But they, they, they kind of choked us out of getting through the, the, the entrance here. That's why I was trying to go scout out the entrance and see if I could maybe recruit you know, some more goblins to come on down. But uh, in, in the winter, it, it gives you this nasty, sickly white apple. Which for years, you know, people have been you know, just throwing away. But you know, we decided it would be funny to give it to the kobolds and hope they give it to their dragon god. Since it's a wide apple, that, 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 that's what our chief came up with the plan for. It's supposed to work, but it hasn't worked yet, because all the greedy kobolds eat it. And then they just drop dead. Which works too, we laugh about that all the time. But uh, it's the, the red apples in the summer that can heal. They can like bring the dying back to life, practically. Wow. And the humans, they really pay out for that kind of stuff, because you know, they're stupid humans. I mean, you guys could obviously just go. So, to the when field. was the when was the winter apple harvested? Oh, oh, it's it's not ready yet. Usually, we gotta look out for the, the little the, there's little plant creatures that come off the uh, the apples. Oh, plant creatures! You say. <laughs> yeah, whenever the kobolds eat the white one, the plant creatures just come out of the corpses. It takes it takes like a month or two before. First, it turns into a little bush, and then the bush walks away after you know killing some more kobolds. We know better, which is why it's super funny when the kobolds. Is there a way I can gi- I can give an, a look of like, uh, you mean those bushes? You know, kind of not saying it, but like a look that kind of is a can, those bushes do that teammates. we those bushes that we kind of had to deal with at the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> Did you trim some bushes? You can say that. <laughs> Yeah. That's 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 Freezing. another reason now that, that these kobolds burn every body because they think that the, the dragon god has cursed them if they don't burn bodies the bushes come out of them. Right. Well. That and there's that story about mm. that. So what about the house goblin who ate his gems and they found the gems in the fire and I thought that's where gems come from. What about the um, keeper? With the, with the dragon? No, the one that watches the tree. The one that oh, crazy. Oh, oh, the, 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 the mad druid. Yeah, he, he, mad, dru- mad druid, okay. Mad yeah. druid, yeah. He, he's, a, he's a human, he's a druid. He had some, some adventures, came down here and then became his slaves. And then, you know, he was injured. And then he's been acting really weird ever since last summer. And he just tolerates you being... Well, he used to actually give us the apples in exchange for gold and told us that uh, we need to go out and spread them on the surface. But lately, he's acting really weird, and we just kind of like try to sneak past him and take the apples when they're ripe, because he no longer gives them to us. I'm so confused and concerned right now. I mean, if you guys want, we can just leave. I mean, you're pretty damn strong and capable. I feel comfortable going to the surface with you nope. guys. Uh, came here, came here for a mission and completed. Vax, okay. there is one thing that you will never forget. What's that? The we gave you your life your spells. <laughs> <laughs> and at one, no, no point will I ever hesitate to eat you. <laughs> and he like ears built down and he immediately I, 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 I kind of look over if the, you're rolling intimidation roll with advantage yeah yeah. Cause I look over Vex and say so kind of like <laughs> <laughs> oh no not also hot seven 
Okay. <laughs> because you're a little scholarly, you know. Yeah, my dice hate me. Yeah, <laughs> it's one of those days. <laughs> so 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 he he's he was kinda of wilted down at the whole threat of being eaten. I mean mm-hmm. You want a dragon skull for your stick. <laughs> <laughs> Sure. I want to need a taller stick. I was thinking it'd be cool too to like mount these two out of character, like the goblin and the kobold skull, you know, across the. And you know, do little, little, little magisters of chain, yeah, you know. Yeah. Skull of every race, you know, just shows and you your skull of the dragon on my. <laughs> how big is this pet dragon of theirs? I say, like, how big? Um, uh, uh, and he runs over and he grabs the. Bit of you know burning cobalt leg. Let's call for the register, guys. All right, cool. He he grabs a a little uh, burning cobalt greasy arm and basically points out to that bit. Fairly not impressive when you're hearing dragon. Definitely a a young young dragon. It's it's white as death. Its wingspan is. Is three times the reach of a goblin. Which is, <laughs> which is like, which is like feet. six feet. Yeah. <laughs> it's very young. It's big to you two, but I mean, I mean, a pet dragon. Yeah, whites are dumb. They are dumb. That's why make it but that's the, at, at times, that's the problem. But they're, ter- <laughs> but they're, but they're territorial. There's that. Uh, but on the other, on the other row, on the on the other on the other hand, dragon hide, dragon fang, and if we try to suborn it, you know, to we may be able to keep it under by through threat and intimidation or whatever for a certain amount of time, but it will grow, and sooner or later we'll have to kill it, which of course that means a bigger hide. And more supplies coming off of it, but I mean, you do have plus four in animal animal handling. <laughs> I don't know if I'm quite there yet. No, 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 no. I, I mean, I, 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 I wouldn't mind testing my blade against yes. a dragon. Yeah. Yep, man. Okay, we'll be wrapping up shortly. Mm-hmm. So you're 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 gonna you're gonna slay the dragon. I want to talk to this druid. Oh, uh, he, I'm telling you, he doesn't talk to anybody anymore. I mean, before he used to like talk chat with us up, and we talk we with just a euphemism. Euphemism. <laughs> <laughs> euphemism. <laughs> I've never encountered one of those in a dungeon before. Oh. <laughs> Ax is very vexy. Oh, because of course you never lay your axe down, so you're like. The axe. <laughs> yeah, actually, yes. <laughs> Just air quotes around the axe. Oh. There's a reason why hobgoblins are normally charged. Yeah. So, so are, are, are you? I mean, do you want to go after the dragon or the or the druid? I mean, I mean, we kind of had to go yes. by the kobolds to get to the the, the, the mad druid. Now that they control the hallway. Input. We're here, we're here um, for the apples, so let's, which way? let's go get the apples. Which way to the druid, which way to the dragon? Well, you gotta kind of go the same way for a little bit, and then you gotta turn a light, and he's giving you, he's like drawing arrows on the floor, just like, it, lo- it looks like which he's, he's going for infinite lives. Okay. He's just drawing which, arrows. Which one has the first left? <laughs> let's go to the druid first. We're here for the apples. Okay. So, so, and he goes over, and he, you know, he, uh, just kind of like tries to ruffle through the dead bodies to see if there's any last minute things of you know choice like a weapon or something. And there's a dagger on the floor. There's a dagger on the floor. Yeah, yeah. There, there's their weapons, and he's just like you know immediately geared himself up in their stuff. He's got this sling, a sack of arrows right there in front of him. Okay. It's like discount rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> so are you guys ready? Yeah. Okay. So, first we have to be very quiet. Does he have pants on? He does I, not. <laughs> His pants were burned off, man. I, I figured <laughs> I was just making sure, so this is 
truly terrifying. His urine, his urine protected his loin cloth. <laughs> okay, at least there's that. <laughs> do the cobalts have any clothes? The cobalts really don't do much. They do like either the little the satchel tabard kind of thingies or loin cloths. Because they're red. Oh, yeah, well, there, there's a bedding in here. We can make him a makeshift tunic of some sort. Throw a belt over. I mean, I don't mind it. And you go half dressed couple. <laughs> I mean, she's like, she's like, I don't hey. know. <laughs> I see you didn't get this. all burned up. <laughs> I see what grows back and comes back bigger. <laughs> <laughs> so, so and he, he basically is looking to see if you guys are all ready. The, the, scent of, the scent of terrified <laughs> goblin urine is, is in the air. <laughs> all right, let's go to victory for goblins. And he, you know, he, he lets out a blood curdling shout cry for Shh. Goblin Kai! I, I, the back of the head. Poof. I uh, look at everybody else and roll my eyes. <laughs> 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 and then he kind of looks like, look out for traps. <laughs> We've noticed. Look out for traps. <laughs> Okay, so you guys basically follow him. He, he seems to know exactly where you guys need to go. <laughs> and he also seems to be not going very far ahead of you, so any second he can just take three steps back and disappear into your numbers. <laughs> Do you think a small creature? Immediately, I <laughs> between <laughs> some of legs. Sounds like all the goblins I know. Okay. I'm a tree climbing goblin. <laughs> oh, yes. I, 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 I find none of his behavior odd. In fact, like I, it's understandable. She, she is the rare drop goblin. <laughs> <laughs> you go in the forest and goblins drop out of the trees. Okay, so you guys get ready. You're all packed up. You're setting up. And that's a good place to wrap it up there. Fine. <laughs> Fine. Build up and yeah. build up. Yeah. 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 So, um, do I write this down? You would check in your in the top of your character sheet. Where it's above your, your inspiration. There you go. So that way, does you that the next time. Does that stick? It around? sticks. Yeah. Until well, until you use it. Yeah. Like, is it? No, it doesn't go away with like a long rest or anything. Nope. Oh, you, cool. keep, you you keep it. So that's why. And don't be shy about using it because I introduce acting character again and you get it back. On the battlefield, I'm a warrior, ready to kill or be killed. I've defeated orcs from the north, sent Kandorian demon spawns back to the depths, and drank with Sumerian heroes. But when I get back from a hard day of disemboweling my enemies, I enjoy nothing more than to open my castle doors and find a dungeon crate as my reward for blood well spilled. Designed for role players and tabletop gamers, Dungeon Crate is a monthly subscription box service with a treasure hoard of loot you can use on or off the battlefield. Miniatures, dice, tokens, coins, maps, modules, terrain pieces, handcrafted items, RPG jewelry, and more are yours for only a few gold per month. You even get a digital crate along with a physical one as an added bonus. So what say you? Are you ready for postal glory? Oh boy. DungeonCrate.com let the adventure begin! Thank you for listening to the Creative Play and Podcast Network. And feel free to enjoy our other shows, such as D&D Journey of the Fifth Edition and Scion Ragnarok and Roll, a Scion hero to Ragnarok story. Thank you for listening. Yeah, Jim doesn't mind. You can just hand them out for as to be, long as we don't get crazy. Yeah, to be fair, yeah. if like for for eventually, there's some GMs that go by the one per session. But dude, if you're playing shit up to the hilt and you're playing your characters to your characters, why shouldn't they be a currency like fake ones events? Yeah, so it helps us out if we encourage that. So oh, yeah. role playing and having fun uh-huh. <laughs> helps us out to pass that on. I was just glad Vex got to talk. <laughs> He's very vexed. Who's, uh, who, who has the blue die? Who would be six sitting here? Not I. Why? It may have been mine. Maybe. I don't know. 
to be sure she did. I am a really transport him. That's amazing. <laughs> I am a trap sensing machine. And this is before you get lost in some dark place and the darkness Blood talks to you. Yes. <laughs> and the darkness says, Yes, my servant. <laughs> With every sword swing, you serve. I'm just saying. Me. Also, I will most likely be late to next You're session. No okay. so I will be coming back from uh, Reno. The Plane lands at 5.30. Are we, pl- are we planning on two weeks? Two weeks, yeah. yeah. So you know what I'm hearing you say is that you're exploring a slightly different area. I, yes, that, that is That's what I'm quite plausible. Is you're exploring a different area because the goblin told you that there may have been something of interest. Mm-hmm. Like, this horrible thing, the tree of evil! <laughs> is it actually a tree? I just thought it was a tree. That's a, a wizened elder watcher. Super creepy. Watcher. Bye, guys.